Hello everyone and welcome back to Elsha's Place. Dead Cells, we are back once again. It has been some time. I do apologize. I don't want you to think that my uh, reticence to play has been rage quitting against these losers, although I can understand why you would think that because these losers are just awful and should never have been added to the game and I'm already bad at this game as a result of them and that makes me hate myself and everybody else. Sign, specialist job. Responding to the most eccentric of demands for over 15 years and at least eight updates. I think we've seen that. It's been a long while. Oh, I see. A map of some description. A rare blueprint of even more description. That's interesting. I appreciate that uh, from a gameplay standpoint, simply because I'm going to have to earn the, the thing that, you know, gets me uh, to to 1,000, 10,000, and then 20,000 at the start. Um, you know, the one that lets me have that many left over uh, when, I, when I start the game again, just in order to... You can just hold this down. What the heck? It's got 10 things in it. It's not the uh, infinite bow, it's the hold it down forever, and don't you... Flip in there, I hate you. This game is the worst game I've ever played, and I hate it. Uh, okay, look. <laughs> it's going to be a while before we're any good against those um, birdie losers, which is a problem for me because... Excuse me, I said no. Uh, salt shield. I do like the salt shield, actually. Let's, let's do this. Good. Good, good, good. Can we do this? Oh, there is an elite version of these. Reasons, which is not helpful. Not the right time. Help. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I hate this barnacle thingy. Where are you at? What, 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 what? Heal. Run away. Look, we need, we need to kill this thing, uh, and, and then we can <laughs> finish the level, maybe, and then... Got it, got it, got it. Right, we'll finish the level. And <laughs> not worry about the fact that we've taken so much damage and, and completely failed to do any of the simple tasks uh, expected of us. Like, not get hit for 30 kills. But, um... It's, <laughs> it's been a long time since I played, and I, I, I know, and I'm sorry, and I... Look, people have been very encouraging. And I appreciate this to uh, more of an extent than you could possibly know. Uh, except for a fact that I guess if someone has ever appreciated something that you've done, you know what it's like to feel appreciated for having done something, but it's, it's not my point. My point is, uh, it's been, it kind of feels like I didn't play because I rage quit. I don't want you to think that. It's not the case, because it's not true. So don't think that. Um, yes, I was somewhat tempted to sack it all because these new enemies are preposterous and nonsense and far too difficult to deal with, but I, that was true of all of the enemies when I first started playing. You know, it's not a reason to um, to stop playing the game entirely. And plus, you know, there's other things for me to... Oh, but I've just forgotten how to play. <laughs> it's pace has been clear. Um, there's other games for me to record and I haven't been doing that either. And there are reasons behind that and I know how much you appreciate me ranting on and, and you know, being that guy in these episodes and I promise you, if this episode lasts long enough, I will end up ranting about the reasons why I've not been recording recently, but kind of now is not that time. I want to get back into the game and uh, remind myself how to actually play it in the first place. Right, that was a good, uh, good, good thing right there. Here you go. Nice. No. Picked up the blueprint. Bobby outfit. There's armor in the game now, though. Oh, shoot. No. Stop. Why are <laughs> you so hard to hurt? Um. Yeah, I want to get back into the, the swing of the game. I probably could have started with a... Um, what happened? <laughs> Probably could have started with a, a daily, to be fair. Uh, I didn't really think of that. I kind of did think of that, but I don't want to. Mind you, a daily that has those uh, annoying shooty birdie thingies in it might be worth something. So let's not dismiss the idea just yet. I'm sure there was a thing, and then... Oh, there it is. Kind of want to get the hang of actually being able to 
commentate for more than five seconds without getting distracted. I mentioned before that distraction is a big problem for me. Uh, and people have been supportive, not just of me playing the game and taking time off and stuff like that, but also of my various spiels about uh, mental health. And I think that's a really important thing because it's very discouraging to talk about mental health with people who don't understand why mental health is a problem uh, or, or that it is a problem, to be quite honest with you. Which was me for the longest time. <laughs> it turns out we all suffer from it one way or another. We all have health, um, mental and physical. I mean, it's kind of like... Uh, if I were to say to you, hey, I, I broke my arm, okay, so I haven't been able to play the game, you would go, oh, don't worry about it, you know, take some time off, heal up as much as you like. Um, uh, I didn't break my arm, I broke my head. <laughs> not, not my skull, just the thought processes and patterns that one would normally take for granted uh, are no longer functioning as necessary, but it, it almost feels like you can't use that as an excuse in the normal Ooh, nice to survive. in normal conversation and it's not fair so i do want to be an advocate for mental health if and when i can i would like to go to the promenade if you don't very much mind uh and having people encouraging and saying nice things about the fact that i've brought such things up past does make me more likely to talk about in the future uh let me hang on i've put my glass of water on the coaster and my cup of tea right on the desk, which if you are British or just cultured in any way, you would know is completely wrong. The tea is the tea that has been getting me through the past couple of weeks. Countess Grey? <laughs> I can't really tell you what it is. Ooh, oh, it's the skin. Um, except, I mean, it's not trade secrets. It's not, you know, British people won't allow Americans to... <coughs> excuse me, uh, and know about <laughs> the the cultural, you know, the, the intelligence, the classified information that is Countess Grey. I just don't know. It's uh, similar to Earl Grey, if you've heard of Earl Grey. It's similar to Earl Grey if you haven't heard of Earl Grey, but that's actually a common uh, speech pattern where it's a, when I say if, it's not a condition on you having heard of Earl Grey. It's actually more of a polite way of saying, um, in case you haven't heard of Earl Grey, that's not a problem, uh, but if you do know about Earl Grey, then you have a uh, frame of reference to work against. I think we'll take this parry one, which is one of my favourite ones for now. We don't get to use that, and we did make a complete shambles of the first floor, but don't forget we're playing on difficult mode. I'm wondering if those things don't exist in a not difficult mode, because when we first put our boss cell on, we got those wizards uh, haunting us instead. Oh, great. More things to get it through with. Oh, it's just out. I mean, I, I'm cool with the idea of um, there being like, extra skins and stuff. And um, I, I guess when I played the previous episode, I, I was going, hey, I thought we could change our skin. So they had to unlock it. So there is that. Yikes! Hey, I was rolling. So heck you, buddy. Well, I would very much appreciate being. Uh, a little bit of mercy, maybe? Being a little bit of mercy. Being, being shown some mercy. <laughs> because the game has become much harder than it used to be, and it's not fair. So, don't die. What did I just do? That was an instant use. I, I didn't read it, I thought it was a thing I could pick up and use later. It's fine. It's just... I think this is going to give me a whole bunch more cells while it's active, so let's get it active. There are no enemies! Not an elite, please. Oh ho ho! Well, that went well. That went well. I'm gonna keep playing. Um, yeah, because first of all, that was terrible. Second of all, I haven't started talking. But I'm here for a reason, and it's not to play the stupid game. It's to be an advocate for when good things go bad. And nice people. So uh, let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you. And me. We'll try a... Oh, this is not going to go well. It's a ranged build with the... Um, with with a, a shield to sort of tie all up. Why won't you go up, you layman? I can't... I can't fight two of them. And I don't have enough ammo. 
So, what the heck is a boy supposed to do? Let's start this one again. Start, do you know what? This is not going to... I've decided. <laughs> this is the first time I've done that in this entire series. And I swear I will do it again if I make such a hash of a start. Uh, there is money in it. Oh, I get to keep my money. That's interesting. Uh, I suppose I didn't spend it. Um, yes. Sure. I, I actually quite like the Bloodthirsty Shield because it is a... Um, it's an um, attack weapon. It's, it's, it's an attack plus defense, not just defense. Because, for example, it let me beat the heck out of that loser. And uh, it being a shield, it does, to some extent, um, synergize with this Nutcracker, which I kind of also hate, but I okay, can't win them all. Oh! Made it through, somehow. Uh, so... That's nine. Why won't you roll? I think these things are a little bit too fast, which I, I do take issue with. Also, you need to be either really difficult to hit or invisible and not looking both. Nice. Um, because there's, there's too much nonsense in this world right now. You know? the, the world is already out to get me. I don't want to have to. Look, I know it's a game, I don't have to play it. Not imperative that I win, but it is it somewhat. Im that was just terrible. I genuinely thought, once again, I thought that those things did not jump that far. I kind of had this in my mind, which I've yet to untrain myself, which is that those things jump uh, and attack you, but the attack is only at the start of the jump. Completely not true. The attack is the entirety of the jump until they've basically settled down again and started wandering around. Why do I think that I can be at the extent of the jump and take no damage? I don't know. Maybe maybe in a few hundred episodes we'll be able to get through the first floor without taking damage uh, and therefore get a, an unfair advantage on the rest of the floor. I can't deal with these. I don't know how to deal with two of them. I think, like, what am I missing? How do you do it? If they're out of sync for any reason, I just don't know what to do. Oh, there's a cluster bomb over here, this might help us. Um, getting through this first floor has now become such a chore. I'm actually thinking it's more likely that I get through the second floor without taking damage than the first floor. I'm not going to buy that, actually, uh, because I really couldn't care less about you know, next level strats that I can't even get in the first level strats to work anymore. And it's entirely because of these new enemies. At least, I guess, on the second floor, we're going to be up against enemies that I have at least seen before, even if I'm not very good against them. Um, but in this first floor, with these invisible things, I also have to somehow defend against that range. I'm not seeing it happening. What? I might even hit you. Please. You. Um. Yeah, it's not just a matter of hitting him, it's a matter of hitting him, uh, of seeing him at range and then defending myself against him. Probably could have used a cluster bomb right now. Yes, probably. Where are you? Where is it? Did it die? Okay. Better off, because I'm going down here. <laughs> also, there's a big blood splat where it was, so... That's not dead. I, I have to say that I have a complaint to make to the manager. I think it explode into blood and look for all the world like it's never coming back. And then, I don't know, some ghostly reason for it to return to the land of the living. Uh, might not have been a good idea. I kind of just didn't pay attention when I went through it. Oh, a golden door. Let's go through it. And then there's some bad stuff on the other side. It wasn't bad stuff. It was just not hugely helpful. This is hugely helpful. Now we have things that can help me against those things that are causing me so much grief recently. However, uh, not to complain too much, but um, they, there aren't any enemies left, so I can't get my bonus. Uh, I'm not going to spend any more money on re-rolling this. I know I could probably replace my things with a green thing, but we have one level in green, and it's probably about time, actually, that I started doing uh, survival runs again, just to get through. Um, no! Tried to roll twice. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> 
drink tea. I'm down. 15 minutes and I've died twice. Well, three times if you count the fact that I uh, intentionally restarted a thingy because I was just sick of it. If we get a decent selection of weapons to begin with, which we didn't, um, then I will go full on red for the first time in a long time, but it, it seems insistent on giving me weapons that I truly hate. Uh, and apparently skills that I hate as well, so, you know, it's not, the skills are not alone. Uh, I, I thought I'd taken the Nutcracker, even though it's the case. Let's try not to, uh, that's overuse your lightning. We might be okay. Because this is raised enough um, that I am not too worried about these things. I, you can't roll through all of them. <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't. They throw three things, but you can only dodge two of them. Why? What is the correct thing to do? Well, I guess the correct thing to do is to shield one of them and dodge the others, but I'm not going to do that. We'll save that <laughs> because it's very, very precious. Pretty sure there was one of them here as well. You dodge and then immediately put your shield up and hope for the flipping best. This is worth the money. Uh, I can't sell. Uh, I know it's just a balanced blade, but honestly, I will take anything at this point that will give me a slight advantage over the fact that everything else is horrible. <laughs> Secret zone, give me some stuff. Uh, money. Ching. Nice. Uh, yes, this is probably better than Rings of the, Wings of the Crow, which I do not understand. No. No. Yes. Um, if that was a bad thing to do, then by all means, yell at me in the comments, but at this stage, I really don't care. <laughs> there's a... There's a sort of a trend in, in life at the moment towards just... Are you aware of the concept of a, a mental health day? That's where you take a day off work because you're just sick of being awake, basically. Um, you... I, I've taken one or two in my time, but never as many as I have recently. Even if it's not actually a mental health day that I've taken off, I've, it's been worse. Like, you have to take a mental health day off, because if you don't take a mental health day off, you're going to feel so sick. L like, literally sick and tired of um, being at work, that you end up taking a real day off, because you physically can't get out of bed. Um, and why? What causes crits here? And successive hits. Oh, I didn't know that about the uh, balance blade. And I guess at some point it wears off. But there's no indication of what that is. Um, I like these, but not enough. I would rather spend money on a fresh... Um... <laughs> That's how you beat them. I'd rather spend money on a fresh uh, selection of skills. Actually. But, yeah. I'm, uh, a mental health day is where you... All um, good habits are suspended, like going to work, <laughs> uh, and you, it's a duvet day. They call it a duvet day in, in some situations, but that is when you just stay in bed, or at least stay in your duvet, because you can't face leaving your duvet, but I have a problem whereby if I stay in my bed, I end up feeling physically sick uh, anyway, despite the fact that it would you know, probably help me to relax a bit more. Uh, I'm guessing there's one of these on every floor, so let's, we might as well spend our money. We've gotten that. So I, I have picked it up. I don't know if it was necessary to have picked that up for sort of a completion thing, but I've done it anyway. So now we know. Uh, I also guessed that it was a map one time in our uh, existence soon we will be able to um, I kind of want to swap these actually because I'm going to press RT by accident so let's do this um, I'm having that now basically it, but not in terms of going to work but in terms of playing Dead Cells I, uh, this is my duvet day this is my mental health day I think there's enough enemies for me to get to 30 it would be nice wouldn't it um, I uh, have suspended all good habits, and I am now just uh, 
gonna go full on red run. <laughs> uh, I think that's it, actually, 28. So it's a shame. I don't really want to do the toxic sewers, quite frankly. That's a, it's part of it. I'm gonna take um, full on red unless I don't have the opportunity to put anything into red. And I am gonna go the easy path and I am gonna not worry about not being hit for you know 30 enemies and blah blah blah. And uh, you all can suck it if you don't like that, because that's what's going to happen. I didn't really win anything. What is this? Summon a Great Owl pet. Activating the skill again will anger the Great Owl. The Great Owl disappears if you take any damage. What? <laughs> what is this? What is it with this game? And just go through this game and never take damage. That seems to be the... Um, there's, a, there's a trend. A general bent salute to uh, all, all of the... <laughs> things that you can get here which is basically don't take damage and you'll do really well um which is this malaise what you can be infected with a malaise is that just the poison effect in general or is that another thing that I have yet to become aware of? Uh, I'm going to take the ones that I'm familiar with, because otherwise I'm scared. Look, I got through that entire level, and I took enough hits to require healing, but I didn't use my Istas Flask, so... We're doing better, and I think we're doing better because I'm actually using weapons that I'm capable of using, rather than uh, nonsense weapons that I have perpetually and insistently decided I hate. Also, what is going on? Uh, I thought that was going to be a way down, so I went there, <laughs> and it wasn't. Uh, so I... I'm not going to own that mistake. That was the game's mistake. I like Quick Blaze because it means that I can... Ah, heck you. Um, stab those blubby up thingies before they blow up. That's basically what I want from life. I'm a simple man, okay? I just want weapons that can hit things before the things that the weapons are trying to hit hit me. You know, it's, it's not... I don't know why I've got this map, by the way. Might as well use it. You've been initiated into the secrets of the architects. Yeah, there you go. That was worth it, right? <laughs> There's another little tiny thing up there. What the heck? Should we try and get up there? Why not? I've, I've never seen it before. It may be nothing. It may cause me to just take all my damage here again, but we made it through. First of all, we'll take that. I know you can do this, so stop pretending that you can't. Oh! <laughs> gonna you can all watch right this is you're fine with this i am making progress so i don't know why they don't just make this easily doable to begin with why did why did you allow that I, i'm so confused this time you just decide to run up the wall and this time you don't we're nearly there why don't you just yes we found a thing brief that was not worth it <laughs> Especially since I now have to win. Not have to, to not die through this entire thingy. Okay, where's our exit? Where's the first exit? What is this place? Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Prison depths are over there. Ramparts are up there. All the way, basically. Hmm. But we, we know we don't have to go down any of these. There's a scroll there, and that's basically it. Who cares about this shot, right? Might try it anyway, because there's one of those newfangled shops. With the, uh, through the door, you know, the single, uh, single cell now accessible to you door. The other thing here, of course, is I don't know where I have actually already been. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem for me. I tend to rely on the map to tell me where I have been, rather than where to go. So, kind of a minor disadvantage in that respect. 
But I'm glad we got that one thing done. We also unlocked some things in the previous run, so it's not like it's you know the end of the world. It, it just kind of is the end of the world. But every other reason. And I would like my LT to have something in it. So stuff done. This is none of that, and I can't afford to. Well, that was worth it. <laughs> Fine. Okay, we will move on, and this time we will find something that's actually worth trying to do. I do have a shield, I'm aware of this, but it's going to be one of those runs. It's one of those uh, palette refreshing mental health runs where I am really not interested in any of that nonsense. Try and keep this. Uh, I believe the sword thingy there is my crit thing. Right, so when that stops, I. Nope. That hurt, by the way. Lock! Let me out! Stop causing damage to me! Where's my, uh. Where's my anything good? I could really be using this rampart to throw these. Grenades back and stuff like that. Can be but I feel like I'm not, so. Don't worry about it. <laughs> just do as I say, not as I do. We've made it through, and I would like to just maybe get the opportunity to buy something good here. It's all the same to you. No enemies, please. Thank you. Yeah, kick that down. An interesting light bulb. There isn't even a challenge here. That's nice. Buying it. Can't stop me. First of all, it's red as well as green, which is a great opportunity for me because I'm so used to taking it. Uh, yeah, it's better than those, so, heck. Um, I would like free HP as well. Hmm. Drinking, drinking, drinking. So yeah, I haven't played in a long time, let's go back to this. I have not uh, wanted to. <laughs> and it, again, I want to hasten to add, even though it might not seem like it, it is not because of those... Oh, It's not because of those uh, new enemies, although I would very much like to blame them. It's not because of them. Uh, it's been because too much stuff is happening in real life, and what what happens is, and if you get this yourselves, oh, all the teleporters get activated as well. That's um, so I could basically skip the whole level. If I wanted. Uh, this is where we were. I managed to get turned around. How did that happen? Never mind. Um, maybe they didn't get activated because I thought I'd been to that one. Thought I hadn't been to that one, but I have been to that one. I understand now. Just me thinking I'm special. Um. I am special, I'm a snowflake. We're all snowflakes. We're all unique snowflakes, and there's so many billions of us that it really, really doesn't matter if some god of fate just opens his mouth to let you melt upon his tongue. So don't feel special. Uh, do you know what? I don't think it's good enough. So, heck you. Sell me that. Miss me with that. Nonsense. Um, and uh, what happens is, uh, other content creators can probably, you know, make me feel a little bit better about myself right here. I really couldn't face starting again. That was the problem. I fell off the bandwagon, but the problem with falling off the band bandwagon in this respect is not that I fell off the bandwagon, which is in, in and of itself a bit of a problem, because you, know, you build up a backlog so that you can... Uh, not stress out about having to record every day, but if for some reason you are unable to record at least when your backlog starts to run out, and then your backlog runs out, and then you're just sort of in the doldrums at that point, you're you're free falling, you know, like Tom Petty, and it's See, there's a confluence of things in this game, and it's these baddies, and they're always out to get me, and they always seem to manage it, because what they do is, they have a go at you, and then, if they hit you... Oh my god, why? I dodged at the exclamation mark, and it lasted longer than my roll, so that when the enemy actually attacked me... The exclamation mark was done. I'm going to start the next episode explaining why I haven't been recording. Uh, it's not... I just want to chat a little bit. Um, but until then, thank you for watching this episode. I really am trying to get back on the bus here. Um, so I hope that you'll forgive me for falteringness and just finding it 
difficult right now, but again, it's this whole mental health thing. This will be the mental health podcast, okay? Let's call it that. And as a practitioner of mental health problems, I, I guess I'm in as much of a position to talk about it as anybody else. But until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. I'll see you.